today on Concrete Ninja. We got Big Macca's Pump with Nathan. And we're back at Magara Lake. With my boys, Jordan and Utah. And Christopher. We got the new helicopter. Test the out. We got a slab to do. What day is it? The weather looks pretty good. Bit of a cloud in the sky. It rained last night a fair bit. Boys all ready to go. Where's your high-vis shirt, Chris? Oh, he's got the first truck in. One bay. She's 200 thick, these slabs, so. She takes a while. One truck doesn't do much, and then that first truck went in the pump as well, so. This one we should do at least two bays, maybe two and a half. All right, it's seven something. And now we have put in um, a bit more. Our truck went a bit further. We've got two, three trucks now, and we've gone that far. I screwed it all off. Utah's on the bullfight. Chris is on the high stick. Jordan and new little fella over there. All right. We got some GoPro action. Nice wet mud. This is the sort of mud that you have in America, public. But it's nice and creamy. Doing an awesome job. Guys, got the vibrator going over there. Come on, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. Go on. If you go really fast, I'm gonna yell at the workers. I don't like getting yelled at. <laughs> Fill my feet up when I walk back. See how fast you can see. Look, still feet there, feet, feet, feet. Feet, 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 feet. That's a fast way through. A faster way anyway. I'm doing some wet stuff. So. Ah, that's a big one on my brain. <laughs> I should have done the 12 footer too. That was pretty good. Alright, a bit more. We got Utah behind me. One of the best pull backers in the game. Half the time you just not even screen it. Just rake it off from Utah. Alright. That's that one done. Over here. And we're ready. Oh!
Yeah, it's coming. I think so. Maybe you're looking at the south hill. seen me scree with a GoPro on my head and then Jordan over there had a go with a GoPro on his head. He threw his helmet out and got it all dirty. But um yeah. So you got to see a perspective of a of someone pulling back for the screeder. Jordan and Utah do an awesome job of pulling back. I think Tim's here somewhere around too. I see him come and visit us. We got heaps of clips from guys from all around the world. We might just go and check out a few clips. Especially uh, Mark from American Car Heat Solutions. He just got his new screen and he's stoked. Let's check him out. I answered my doorbell today and you won't believe what came. But a fucking bang. But a boom, baby. Oh, the little sex kittens purr now. It's like fucking Eddie Van Halen on his guitar. I want to give a big sh This has a fucking level on it too? Oh my- You cheater. You cheater. I want to give a big shout out to the Concrete Ninja. My friend, my dear, dear friend Demetrius. Thank you so much. Thanks over to the guys over at Master Finish. I am seriously looking forward to making some videos for you guys and getting these products out over here in the U.S. This is beautiful. It's everything that he showed and more. Seriously. Wait and stay tuned. The next video that I will be making will be me putting this bad boy into action. Now that I've had enough lessons from our friend the ninja. Hey, thanks again. and Thanks for everything. Master Finish, you guys are great. D, you're the fucking best, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to using this bad boy. All right, you guys have a great day. That's awesome, Mark. I'm glad I arrived safely. And you know what? I don't have a bubble on my screed, mate. I'll show you every single one of my screeds, but with, with a bubble on top, it makes it a lot better. It's really good to use. I'll have to get myself some with a bubble. <laughs> it's always good to check as you go along a lot quicker. All right, mate, thanks for that video. Awesome.
last fish green, you can scoop pretty fast. As long as the mud's right. Thanks, Jordan. All right, we've got a bit more in. We've got another truck. It's all happening. The mud's so nice. We can go through it like butter. You got to see there's three different angles so far. We'll get a few more in the helicopter, the brand new helicopter, and show you how we finish the bugger. Last little bit of the She's all in. Chris is great in the last little bit. Nathan went good, Jesse went good, all the boys went good. New boy over here, Mitchy. He went good for his first time on the house lab. Good time. It's all good, Joey? Yep. All good. Right. We got the big bad girl out. She's gonna go on a slab. I'm just getting her off the crate right now. Cutting all the tags off her. Pull this tag off her. you read what's going on. Got oil in her. Got to put some petrol in her. And um, she'll be away. Get her going. I'm just breaking it with that one over there because um, I don't want to get her dirty. <laughs> not yet anyway. She's got finishing blades on it anyway, so we're going to use her at the end, not at the start. All right. She's all filled up. We've got the fuel. We've got the oil all done. It's got a nice, awesome cap on it. Little lock cap on there, turn it, lock it in, locked up. Looking beautiful. That machine. <laughs> Getting on a slab in a minute. Oh, baby. Woo! Nasty feet. Beautiful. Trailing away beautifully. It's not even hard enough for the big girl yet. 200 thick slab, there must say. A lot of moisture can come out of this ditch. Chris is getting us pretty wet there on that little machine. That little master finish. We'll get this big rubber out. Or his little rubber. Okay, we're gonna pick the helicopter up. The boys are gonna show you how you should pick a helicopter up properly. Watch the handles on the back of the tray. They bend the knees. Nice, okay. Up his belt. He's gonna be virginary. Chris is walking backwards. Watch him where he's going. Utah's waking hold of him. Not pushing him over. And we've got to watch out for this music because we've got one of our things stopped because of the music. <laughs> you won't hear it anyway. Put one foot on the slab. They are, yep. And put it down. Bend the knees, not their backs. Good work, boys. Nice. Look at that. Baby.
bragging about this one so I don't get my one so dirty. <laughs> Way to do it, that guy. Look how flat we got the blades right now. Flatter than your mum's ass. On a hot summer's day. No air con. <laughs> Chris Broom in the rebate the garage. Oh. Beautiful. Do a helicopter. Done an awesome job. Fucking beautiful. We're going to set another one up over there. We're just on our lunch break. You definitely want to. Actually, you did an awesome job. Did a Very good machine there, mate. Yeah. Everyone I've known has owned one. I've yeah. never been on one, but... It must but be pretty safe. It's the best. I've seen people that had them for fucking years and years and years and never had services done on them. Ah, they last forever, right? Yeah. The Honda motor, that's why. Yeah, Honda you can't beat Honda no. when it comes to sport. That's right, no. Right. It's 12 o'clock, it's pretty windy, so I'm filming the car for a second. <laughs> it's all done out here. But, uh, yeah. Hit that last little bit, put the helicopter away, and she's done. Boys are ready to go home. <laughs> Master finish. Awesome product. Thanks, you tough for the lift. All right, guys, day's over. Boys are finished. I'm finished. The helicopter's back in the truck. It's very, very windy out here. <laughs> Hope you liked that video. There'll be a whole video about the machine on the on on YouTube. So make sure you keep a lookout for that one. And you've seen this one today, so you know what we actually did with the machine a bit. <laughs> anyway, if you can give us a like, give us a subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. I meant actually like, not thumbs up. Thumbs up, like, whatever you fucking mean. <laughs> if you can share this video, that'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks to all the boys that helped today. I'll see you tomorrow. I've got a thousand squares to do tomorrow. I'm going to start work at 3.30 in the morning tonight. So I'll be busting my ass to make this video and get ready for work and have a sleep and get ready for the next day. But you know me. I'm the fucking ninja. I'll do it. <laughs> all right, guys. It's Concrete Ninja here. We're in Bunnings. The biggest hardware store in Australia and when you come to Bunnings on a Sunday you always get a sausage sizzle $2.50 best $2.50 you ever spent let's go look at some concrete tools and see if they sell master finish in this joint right we found some concrete tools we're in Bunnings remember what we got we've got master finish trowels here everyone's looking for a master finish trowel come to Bunnings mate look 91 one a that's my favorite one well they've got all these little tags on them 34 bucks 30 bucks put a little one it's pretty good what else i've got oh well nice finished edges more edges i got bucks what else we got? Master finish. We got this master finish. Uh, this master finish. Coburn trails. This is master finish. More Coburn trails. That's all you need, Coburn trails. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, they're gonna sell some more masterpiece shit. Go buy no brand. No brand concrete tools the same as buying no brand fucking cars or motorbikes. They're shit. They fucking break, fall apart. No fork going into them. All right. I'm gonna buy some tools and I'll talk to you later. Right. We found something else that master finishes sells in Bunnings, and it's the goddamn screeds that you've all been looking for. It handed all those? Nah, just nah. making a little video of yeah. what you got. <laughs> all good, buddy. So, they got bull floats. 1200 ones here at Bunnings. We got the screeds. 1200 screed there. We got some rakes. We got more rakes here. Actually, got more screeds, I mean. I want to do the three meter. I need another three meter. And a 2.4. 1800 as well. And we've got some more piles. I'm going to have a look at awesome. the, I'm going to have a look at bathroom supplies because I need a new house. Oh, okay. You do that. We're gonna go look at some bathroom supplies. Anyway, anyway, we'll if you live in Australia and you're looking for some tools, you're looking for the master finished tools, one of the best places to go is Bunnings. You'll probably find them the cheapest and there's a pretty good range. They haven't got everything that Master Finish has got. We have to work out that and make sure they get more stuff in. Especially the stuff I show in my videos. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Have fun. Hi, my name is Mark Raymond, the Concrete Doctor, and I'm going to be coming to you live October 21st on the Rocket France podcast. For all you concrete finishers out there, we're going to be touching on some very controversial subjects, and we're going to be having a great time doing it. I'll see you guys there.